We place a huge value on being a resource to all of our families, however they need, whether that's financial planning and getting loans and grants and financial help, whether that's helping to get life insurance after you adopt, because that is something you need. These are things nobody told me about, right? Your dream is to become a mom. My dream is to help you get there. I'm Rebecca Greenspan, a single mom through domestic adoption and an adoption consultant for over a decade. I'll be your guide, along with other adoption professionals and members of the Adoption Constellation, walking you step-by-step step down this beautiful and complex path of adopting your baby. When I was going through the adoption process, I had no idea what I was doing, what I needed to know, or more importantly, who to trust. Well, after helping hundreds and hundreds of families grow through the beauty and complexity of adoption, I've learned more than a thing or two, and let me tell you, it's not always rainbows and butterflies. This isn't just another podcast sharing adoption stories, but it's for you if you're genuinely committed to diving in with an open heart, eager to learn everything there is to know about adopting a baby so that you can show up for yourself and your child in the best way possible. This podcast is for you if you're ready to put your newfound knowledge into action. Adoption isn't for the weak of heart, and it certainly isn't done when your baby gets placed in your arms. If that's what you think, I'm afraid you're living in la-la land. My promise to you is to keep it real if you promise to keep digging. We'll acknowledge the hard, and we'll also celebrate the joy that is adoption. You ready? Let's do this. Welcome to this week's This Week in Adoption. This week in our community, somebody said, we are looking for some advice on whether we should try to refinance our current adoption loan. We use Lightstream and our current rate is like 15%. We thought this was high because we both have excellent credit scores, but I know other factors go into it. Has anyone refinanced their loan or have recommendations on where we should try? Thank you. And there were definitely some comments. So I wanna read them to you in case you too are looking to get a loan or refinance a loan. One person said, we recently used American Christian Credit Union. Their April was 9.490. However, you do need to mark a religion or religious organization you belong to from their list. My husband and I were raised Catholic, so we marked Catholic, even though we're not associated with a specific church today. Somebody else said, we've refinanced a mortgage, but that's not the same thing. We didn't do an adoption loan, just a home equity line of credit. Somebody said maybe a credit union. And another person said, reach out to your current banks, including credit card issuers like American Express. The purpose of the loan doesn't matter. It's an unsecured personal loan. So your rate will depend upon your income, credit rating, other debts, et cetera. I would say it's worth trying because 15% is awfully high. And I would think loans closer to 10% should be available. So I hope that helps some of you. And if you have a question you'd like me to get answers to, please submit them. I will um, get some answers from my community, um, both client community, past clients, as well as professional community and share them with you. Um, speaking of financing adoption, I just wanted to shout out to one of our affiliates and partners, your adoption finance coach, we know how difficult financing adoption can be. The cost of adoption continues to rise. I hope to, I, I hope that it will level out in the near coming years. But right now, I have seen situations range anywhere from thirty-five thousand. That's very, very rare. So don't get your hopes up. All the way to seventy-eight thousand. That's very, very rare, so don't freak out. I'd say, though, that the majority is between 50 and 60, give or take on either end, which is really high. 
So many people need grants, need loans, need financial expertise to help look at what you have and what you can be doing. And that's where our partners at Your Adoption Finance Coach come in, where our clients have the opportunity to match one-on-one -on -one with an adoption finance coach to not only look at where your financials are today, where things need to be moved, where money needs to be moved from like one account to another, some advice on where you can take money out of various accounts that you may have um, without penalty, and some ideas about how you might be able to get a loan, a credit, a line of credit, fundraising ideas, et cetera. So while, you know, I've heard people say, don't let finances get in the way. And that's a hard thing to say. I don't know if I'd go as far as that because adoption is expensive and you do have to come up with the money and nobody is going to finance the entire thing for you. Probably not even half. And if you have a good majority, it is worth starting and looking at what the most strategic way for you to start would be. And we'll talk about that in a second. While researching and working with a financial coach, researching grants and loans, grant programs like Gift of Adoption Fund, who's another partner and affiliate of ours, is a huge grant organization. Helpusadopt.org is another big one that um, I have been involved with over the years. Those grant organizations typically like to see that you are already matched before they will commit to giving you a grant or loan. And I'm pretty sure all of them, if not most of them, will be sending that grant money directly to the agency to cover some of the costs of the adoption. Before we go on, we're gonna take a quick break, but don't go away, we still have so much to talk about. Hey there, Adoption Roadmap fam. Are you ready to take the next step on your journey to parenthood? If so, head over to our website and take our quiz. It's called, Are You Ready to Adopt? It's not just about testing your knowledge. It's about making sure you're emotionally and practically prepared for the beautiful, complex journey of adoption. Let's make your dream of parenthood a reality. Go to rgadoptionconsulting.com and take the Are You Ready to Adopt quiz today. That's rgadoptionconsulting.com. The quiz is free, and it will let you know where you are in the process and if you're ready to jump into your adoption journey. So the adoption has to go th be going through in order for you to get that grant. Now, I, I have also heard, and I'm not a an adoption tax credit expert, although you should if you are thinking about starting adoption or if you have just adopted and never heard anything about the adoption tax credit, please go Google adoption tax credit and whatever tax year you are in to learn more about it because there's a good chunk of money there that, that may help you, help you post adoption. I believe that if you have experienced a fall through with a substantial financial loss, that you can utilize the tax credit in some way toward that loss. You can only use the adoption tax credit once a year. And I don't know if there's a cap, like if you're adopting multiple times a year. Again, I'm not a tax expert, but I know people who are, and in fact, will be bringing them onto the podcast in the very near future to be talking about all of this and diving more into finances. I know it's not so exciting to always talk about money and adoption, but money is a huge factor in so many ways. People wonder why they there's so much money associated with um, birth mother expenses or expectant mother expenses. And there's different laws in different states that dictate how much you can spend. Some have a max and you cannot go over it. Some have a max and you can go to court and petition for more. And usually it's granted. Some people will ask, well, why do I need to pay that? And I would retort back to you, that sounds like a very legal term. I'm not even sure if I used it right. But I would say back to you, well, don't you wanna make sure 
that if this is your baby that this woman is carrying, that she is well taken care of, that she has food to eat, that she can make it to their her doctor's appointment, that she has a place to live, that she has clothes to wear, and on and on and on. So of course you wanna support your expectant mama. And knowing all along that even if you should support her financially, that is an agreement you are stepping into knowing full well that she has every right to parent her child in the end. So keep that in mind. This one's going to be short and sweet. I just came back from the Quad A conference. That is the American Academy of Adoption Attorneys, which also includes attorneys who do reproductive technologies law and surrogacy law. RG Adoption Consulting was a sponsor and it is one of my favorite conferences to go to as a sponsor because you get recognized as a sponsor and they actually thank you, which is really nice. But I was there, I met a ton of not only attorneys that we work with, that we hopefully will be working with. And when I say we, our families, um, and also the other sponsors are, a lot of them are partners of ours already, like the ones I mentioned, and others will become podcast guests and partners. We place a huge value on being a resource to all of our families, however they need, whether that's financial planning and getting loans and grants and financial help, whether that's helping to get life insurance after you adopt, because that is something you need. These are things nobody told me about, right? That I need a will to have in place. God forbid something happens to me, what's going to happen to my baby? So these are all things that we prepare our families for, and we are a resource for our families, including um, attorneys, wherever and however they might need an attorney throughout the process. And everybody needs an attorney in the adoption process, at least to finalize. So it's always great to be there live, to be able to hug our current partners and to build on those partnerships and hopefully welcome more into our fold. So it was lovely to be there and I hope to be at many other conferences throughout the year. Again, if you have questions about the adoption process, post adoption, anything that we can be a resource to you for, or that we can simply give you some advice or support along the way, please submit those to support at rgadoptionconsulting.com or just find me on social anywhere and message me. We will get those answered for you live right here. And I hope that you will tune in next week for This Week in Adoption. I will see you next week. Bye for now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Adoption Roadmap Podcast. If you did, I have a few favors to ask of you. First, please hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. And while you're at it, I'd love to hear your takeaways. Please write a review and let me know what you liked. And if you have a question or a suggestion on what you'd like to hear, I'd love to hear that too please shoot me an email at support at rgadoptionconsulting.com and let me know what you'd like to hear about. And if you have a question, I may just answer it online. Thanks again for listening. Tune in every Wednesday and Friday morning for a brand new episode of the Adoption Roadmap Podcast. Until next time, bye-bye.